Another yellow bus, another field trip, and dozens of eager learners file out for adventures at Majestic View Nature Center. Okay, hold up your fingers on what group you're in. The volunteer teachers are at the ready. Yes, we said volunteers. So come on in. The volunteers here are, of course, the lifeblood of a nature center. My name is Carolyn, and I'm going to be turning you all into insect detectives. We couldn't operate without volunteers. So, so we love our volunteers. We've been together for quite a long time, many of us, so we're kind of like family. Ooh, look at that one. That one looks cool. That one's a fat little guy. Majestic View Nature Center runs as many as 450 programs annually, and with only a handful of employees, the center's 15 to 18 volunteers play a critical role. We figured that they put in between 800 and 1,000 hours per year, and that turns into about a $21,000 savings for us. They put on workshops, teach classes, keep the doors open for visitors on weekends, and help care for the display gardens. Retired teacher Jennifer Drainick joined the volunteer family about a year ago as a way to fulfill her passions for gardening and children. I was walking through one time and I thought, wow, I would love to just spend time here and see what I could do. So I dropped into Karen and I said, do you ever have people come in here and work in the garden? And she said, yes. <laughs> and so that's how it all started. Since opening in 2002, a growing and popular program brings area school children in for all kinds of nature programs that tie into educational curriculums. On this particular fall day, the visit is all about insects. I got him. You got him? Nice. <laughs> Look at that. We're teaching what we call safari or the insect safari. And so we allow the kids to run around crazy swinging uh, nets all over the place to try to catch bugs. <laughs> Just because you don't like them doesn't mean you have to be afraid of them, right? Hello. We can learn and experience them about them. So it's not just in a book, it's not just dead ones, but it's real ones that they're actually able to interact with. This might be it. It's not green. Yeah, that's not looking close. Green. There's plenty to explore indoors too. Volunteer Carolyn Adam guides kids through insect stations. So look at his antenna with your magnifying glass. I turn them into detectives to try and stimulate their imagination and their observations. Is it a smooth antenna or is it a fuzzy antenna? It looks a little fuzzy. It does, that's right. I love teaching because I just love to see children or people brought to a new level in their lives, their knowledge, their imaginations. It's just so fun for me. Longtime volunteer Dean Bernard walks students through the life stages of insects. So when this guy is laid on an egg, he's attached onto the, the tree and he's bright, bright white. Along with teaching classes, Dean can be found putting up displays or other tasks around the center, and he's put in tons of hours since the center opened. He always goes over and above and beyond what, what, what our expectations are. As I tell Karen, my number one job is to help. I was a teacher and an administrator, and I would not have been successful if I wouldn't have had helpers. And it's my turn to give back. Volunteers come from all walks of life. We have a lot of retired educators, so they teach our science programs that we do. We have ambassadors for the park and for the entire area. People like Dudley and Jody Wyland, who've also been with the Nature Center since its beginning, have helped with everything from festivals to teaching. They've been part of it, you know, for 15 years now and, and have, have helped us through every single phase of it. Carolyn Adam comes with a background in parks and recreation and early childhood education. It's uh, energizing. I love working with children. I love working with people. Drover Hall brings his passion for wilderness and outdoor living skills. One of the biggest reasons I love to choose to volunteer here because it focuses a lot on what I care about. It's also a great opportunity to learn yourself. We are a community and I think that shows when people come here and say, wow, it's such a, a warm, homing place. You're, you're all on the same page and everything. It's because we are a family. The city of Arvada is very lucky to have so many committed volunteers and they are a committed group and we're very thankful and I hope they feel appreciated. You can learn more about Majestic View Nature Center's programs or maybe even find a volunteer opportunity by calling the center at 720-898-7405. 
On the topic of classes, plenty are scheduled for the rest of this year, including a popular one called Eco Holiday Crafts. This little guy is made out of two pop bottles that I've cut off the bottom of the two different pop bottles, glued them together, painted them, and decorated them. Eco Holiday Crafts focuses on reusing and repurposing materials. Cardboard is a biggie. We have tons of cardboard projects. Check out the super cute owl, or creative cradles made from milkweed pods, and even mini pine cone wreaths. The Eco Holiday Crafts class is suitable for ages 6 through adult. It runs the first three Thursdays of December from 5 to 6.30 p.m. If interested, now is the time to register. The number again is 720-898-7405.